Something's Brewing takes us to Northford. Stewards of the Land Brewery already has a new addition, their patio. And they have a new brewer, which means more beer. Alex DeFrancesco joining us now, owner of Stewards of the Land. Nice to be back here again. Nice to see you guys. The place looks so great. Thank you, thank you. You did such a good job. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been uh, evolving over the past couple of years. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've been here, what, four times now? I think it is the fourth time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about this new farm program um, by the Department of Agriculture. This yes. is really big for you guys. It, it's amazing because we've been working with uh, Brian Herbert, um, He's the commissioner of the Department of Ag for Connecticut and his team. And um, ever since the liquor license got changed mm -hmm. back last year, uh, we wanted to preserve Connecticut farms, the farm breweries, wineries, and farm cideries. We finally got this um, program with the Department of Ag up and running. And we're actually certificate number one for uh, being a farm brewery in the state of Connecticut. So what does this mean for you overall? Overall, we showcase uh, Connecticut farm products mm -hmm. in the beer that we make on site. For the farm breweries, wineries, and cideries, uh, it's a certain percentage uh, per volume of ingredients that are used in the manufacturing um, of those products. So most of the beers that you have here uh, incorporate uh, 80 to 90% Connecticut ingredients per volume in our beers. So we like going above and beyond using all those interesting ingredients just to showcase Connecticut agriculture as much as possible. That's great. And for those that don't know, um, you know, you guys know a little bit about farming. Just <laughs> a little bit. Just a little. Your parents have owned a farm for... Oh, how long has it been? I mean, because this so, is generations and generations, right? It is, right? it is. So um, my great-grandfather started the farm in 1907. Mm -hmm. uh, my brothers and I are fourth generation. We're raising the fifth generation right now. Uh, we're hoping some of those uh, will actually stay with us and continue the, the farming uh, generations on the f more years to come. Colin Nicholson joining us now, head brewer here at Stewards of the Land Brewery. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So when did you come on board? Uh, I started here late February of okay. last year. So right before the pandemic. Well, great. I'm excited to talk beer with you and uh, try some. So let's uh, first up, I guess you have a uh, Saison, which I is do. wonderful for the summer. Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's a barrel-aged Saison. We put it in a Chardonnay barrel last year. Interesting. With hops grown on the farm that were aged a year themselves. Mm. And it sat in the barrel, undisturbed, downstairs for a year, and pulled it out. And it's got a lot of citrus character from the hops from the farm, a lot of dry character from the barrel itself, a lot of oak. It's a lot going on. Wow. Really, really uh, complex beer. Great. Next up, you have a double IPA. And this is uh, pretty much a new age IPA. It's hazier like people like, but it's made with all local hops. So it's really tropical, mm -hmm. really citrusy, really smooth, and it's 8.5% and, and it drinks like it's 5%. People like it. <laughs> it's a good night ender. Mm -hmm. But, um, Getting all those flavors using only local hops, tricky, but that's, that's what we do. Great, and then next up you have an amber. The amber is a malt forward, straight up amber ale brewed with all local malts. So it really showcases the crystal malt character from Thrall malts and the base malt character from a valley malts up in Massachusetts. And it is your go-to crushable red, mm -hmm. really satisfying multi beer. And last but not least, the honey gold. The honey gold is a blonde ale, mm -hmm. and it is brewed with honey from our apiary on the farm, and it is brewed straight up to be a all-nighter, all-day drink, crisp, clean, satisfying, awesome. I was gonna say, so light and just easy yeah, drinking. It's our bestseller. All right, guys, so this is a great addition. Yep. Uh, we just finished getting the pavilion going at mm -hmm. the end of uh, March, start of April. Uh, people have been enjoying it. Great. I know outdoor is huge now. <laughs> it is. It, it, it's really essential at this point. Mm -hmm. And it's a good to welcome summer. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Well, nice to meet you, Colin. Oh, nice to meet you. All right. Well, cheers. Something's brewing here at cheers. Stewards of the Land. Cheers.